Hello, my name is Tuna Salad and today I'm going to be giving another short Arma 2 tutorial. This one's going to be going over basic tactics for using tanks and the differences between the M1A2 Tusk and the Russian T90. So first off, I'm going to go ahead and get started with the M1A2. This tank has crew for four people. I'm going to go ahead and get in the loader position. Go to the external view here and pan around a little bit. This tank has a driver, a loader, a gunner, and a commander. The commander would control the turret that you see that I'm not manning right now, the one there in the middle. And the gunner obviously controls the main gun and the coaxial machine gun while the driver drives the tank and you've got the loader that mans the M240 up in the other turret. The difference between this tank and the M1A1 is that it does not come with a loader slot so you're a minus one machine gun. These extra guns make this an excellent infantry defeating weapon and it can also take an extra hit as opposed to the T90. That's really all that's to be said about this tank. Now we get into the T90. I'm going to go ahead and get in the commander seat and hop to the gunner seat. The primary difference between this one and the M1A2 is that it does not have the reactive armor plating. It cannot take the extra hit that the M1A2 can and it also is missing the extra machine gun on the top so it doesn't have that extra gun to take out infantry however this tank does have a guided rocket that can be used in place of the main gun this is useful for when you fire off your first shot you miss and you're reloading you can switch to the rocket and fire off another shot so by the time you do that and you uh, get back to the main gun, it is reloaded and you can fire off another round and keep doing that. The M1A2 behind me, for example, cannot do that. So this tank has twice the firepower in half the time. That is pretty much the main differences between these two tanks. I think they're about the same on speed. Uh, one just has a, a crew, an extra crewman that the other one doesn't. So that's pretty much it. Having said that, I'm going to go ahead and get started with tactics. After saying that, I will say this. Things you do not want to do are go to the highest point on the map or crest a large hill because that is the first place people look. It's much easier to look up on slopes and mountains for people than it is to look down. So I recommend staying as low on the battlefield as possible because your gun will elevate so picking off people that are higher than you are isn't really an issue. What you want to do is always try and stay behind a hill. There will come a time when you have to crest a hill, but try not to do it because it makes your silhouette appear against a blue sky and makes you much easier to see. What I'm going to do now is man my tank and we're gonna go and find this T90 that I've put out here on the battlefield. I'm gonna get in as, as the driver because I believe an AI gunner or a bot as some people call them will target the enemy much faster and much more precise than any other human player. A human player has to roll his mouse across the the desk to get the turret to move where the AI does not have to do that and can be done in one fluid movement. So I'm going to go ahead and get my crew to board my tank. Oh, get in the tank. Roger. And after this happens, I'm going to have two gunner icons pop up. So I need to figure out which guy is the gunner. Three got in first, and the turret moved immediately. So I'm going to assume that three is my primary gunner. I'm going to highlight all my men and I'm going to tell them to engage at will. Engage at will. And we are going to move and start looking for our, the tank that I have placed out here. 
Notice that I'm going to stay low and go around this hole rather than over it. It's always a good idea to periodically highlight your gunner and go to the target just to have him look around for targets. Something may pop up before he calls it out. Always move in a zigzag movement. This makes you harder to hit. I found the tank. I have targeted. I have told my gunner to engage. I'm engaging. Move in your zigzag pattern. Again, it makes you much harder to hit. Much harder to target. You always want to try and make sure that there are no trees in your line of sight while you're firing. Oh, he's got one shot on me. This should be the one that does it. And I believe that's one hit delivered. The crew is bailed out of that tank, and I'm going to fire off the final killing shot. They hit me one side. One of my treads is damaged, but I'm still in the fight. Another good tactic to prevent your crew from bailing out on you when your tank does get hit and the new warfare that was made by Benny, make sure and lock your vehicle. That way, if you do get hit, your crew cannot bail out on you. That concludes this tutorial, and I will be making a few more on infantry fighting vehicles and their applications. Thank you for watching.